Good morning, Park Hill South, and welcome to the Southside Scoop. I'm Connor Hills. And I'm Brian Elliott, and today is a black day. Brian, it's nice to have you here. You know, this is, this is the first time we've been up at a desk together since, since I think, eighth grade. Since middle school, yeah. I had, a, I had a mustache back then. Yeah. So It was pretty magnificent, but you know what, Connor? Ever since I was a little girl, I've always imagined of coming onto the Southside Scoop with one of the greats. So looks like I've got a while to go there. You know, a little mismatch here, but we'll make it work. All right, well, if you see something out in the hallways recently that doesn't quite look like uh, something you normally find in a high school, your eyes aren't playing tricks on you. If you see this red machine out in the hallways, however, you won't be renting DVDs and Blu-rays out of it anytime soon. In fact, the SPED department's latest venture is hoping to take your eyes off of the screen and to the book in your hands. The PA um, so my students walked around Park Hill South and they noticed that um, within the classrooms, teachers do a really good job of promoting reading or talking about different types of literature. Um, but in the hallways and outside of the classrooms, there wasn't a whole lot. So they thought that they could make a positive change by promoting reading through a read box. First, because it looks like a red box and it might get students interested just because of that. Um, but second, it's pretty um, attention grabbing and um, they thought it would be a cool way for students to learn about different books that we have in the library. Um, and ultimately, we are going to try to see if this can be something that promotes more students to go to the library and check even more books out than they are already. All right, thank you for that. The Park Hill South Court Warming Dance will be on Saturday, February 7th. Students who plan to bring a guest who does not attend our school must pick up a visitor permission form at the front security desk and submit the completed form bought before the February 4th deadline. Late forms will not be accepted. Any students wishing to participate in the college signing event on February 4th need to contact Coach Carr or Mrs. Boda in the activities office to obtain the proper forms of intent. All documentation must be submitted prior to the signing. Stuco application forms are now available outside of room B108. Completed applications and teacher recommendations are due back no later than the January 30th deadline. Questions can be directed to Mrs. Adkins in B108 or Mrs. Vlanche in C105. Comic Con Club is meeting on Monday, January 26th and E106, after school until 4 p.m. The theme of this meeting is Family Guy. Everyone is welcome to attend. See Mrs. Manga if you have any questions. There's just one more school day until the pink game. Wear your pink game t-shirt to the game on Monday and be entered in a uh, drawing for a $100 Zona Rosa gift card. In addition, we will choose a Fanatic Fan Award that night. Uh, so attend the game, wear your pink shirt, cheer fanatically, and possibly win go, uh, gift cards for Zona Rosa amounting to $125. This year, the pink game is in conjunction with the American Cancer Association's uh, Coaches vs. Cancer event. Well, you know what, Brian? Uh, I was kind of wondering, if I'm not one of the greats, then who is? Well, you know what, Connor? We have the big four greats, and I think everyone here at South knows that. One, we have Sung Ha, Magnificent. Two, John Holden. Three and four, respectively, Kate Upton and Scarlett Johansson. Now, we can make it a big five if you can do that, but for now, I think we need to send it over to Schaefer, because I think he's getting closer. Hey there, Park Hill South. Your eyes are not deceiving you. I am doing weather. After a couple comments made yesterday in sports, Mr. Ford thinks I need to take a break. So, today I am doing weather. We're going to get right into the current conditions. It is 21 over in Olathe, 25 KCI, 24 downtown, and 21 over in Lee Summit. A little chilly this morning. Moving on to the three-day forecast, see what it's like this weekend. Today we have a high of 50, low of 24. It's going to warm up a little bit on Saturday. High of 57, low of 29. On Sunday, high of 55 low of 32. Take advantage of those temperatures. Be sure to get outside this weekend. That's all I have for today in weather. Back to you guys at the news desk. All right. Thanks for that, Schaefer. That was fine. Yeah. Happy birthdays go out today to Jeremy Hatton, Nick Mata, and Ryan McClawley. I think you guys are all really special. Also, by the way, it's Friday, so there's a ton of weekend birthdays. That's so way, many. way, way too many for me to get yeah. to. I don't know what it is with people and having birthdays on the weekend, but you know, you're special too. So yeah. There you go. Yeah, whatever. Um, on the lunch menu today, we have B-Rock. Hmm. Uh, barbecue turkey sandwich with potato wedges, buffalo crunchers. That sounds like something that crawled out of a hole. And the premium meal is pasta bar. A delicious hole at that, Brian. Well, Probably. that is all we have for you today on the Southside Scoop. I'm Connor Hills. And I'm Brian Elliott. Have a great day, Parkinson.